Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Today I wanted to talk about uh, playing with a ball machine. I've been practicing with a ball machine for this week because pretty much all my regular hitting partners have been traveling or unavailable. So I want to play tennis, I want to test rackets, strings and so on. And uh, I've just been relying on a ball machine that thankfully I can rent from Martin at Solo Tennis here in Malta. He actually picks up the balls while you're playing and he handles the machine. So that's a big benefit and it's pretty cheap as well. So a great service. Thanks Martin for that. And I'm going to keep doing sessions. It's a great complement to playing tennis or practicing with humans. It's always more fun to play sets, matches and practice with humans, of course. But if you want to work on your technique or your footwork or your timing, I think the ball machine is a great idea. And there's a hyped up slinger bag right now that's everywhere. Uh, I haven't tried it myself, but there's a review on this website, tennisnerd.net and my YouTube channel by Henrik. So check that one out. Uh, but we use the Tennis Tutor, which I found to be an excellent machine. It does the you know oscillation, spins, different velocities and so on. So everything you need really to get going and, and start also moving. Because if you're just hitting to a static place, it's not so much fun. And I like to have a really good you know workout as well. So uh, if the ball can move around a bit with different spins, uh, that makes me happier. Although it's a very grueling exercise. And I've been testing different strings and rackets. And I think it's a great tool to do that because you get a really focused sensation on how it feels when you hit the ball and how the ball is, is going through the court or what kind of spin you're getting on your shots because you're getting the ball kind of in the same place from the machine and with the same spin and the same speed. If you set it up that way and then you can really see what happens to the ball, the sound and so on. So I've been testing a bunch of different rackets. Uh, I must say the E-Zones were the most powerful where the ball just exploded off the string bed. Such fun to play with. Sometimes an issue with control, a little bit of a muted response, but those rackets are just excellent. Uh, the East 100 being the easiest to use, big sweet spot, uh, feels natural even on the one-handed backhand to me. And the ESO 98 uh, requires a little bit more from the user for more advanced players. Uh, for the one-handed backhand, I've been enjoying the Prestige MP 2019. Uh, the, my customized one, I just feel like that one works best for my game. Uh, at the net, I love the 6195 Encode Edition that I use from time to time. And uh, the most versatile racket I tried over these uh, couple of days that I played with the ball machine was the Head Speed MP 2022. Very versatile racket, does most things really well, no real weaknesses, and uh, just like that one a lot, the Speed MP. I also like the Pro, but the Speed MP is a little bit easier. To use so that's a big benefit it's been fun uh, i've learned something and worked on my technique and and it's good for testing rackets and string let me know in the comments below if you're using a ball machine if you're also struggling to find partners and coaches and so on check out player court which has an excellent service for just this issue and if you use my a link you will get 50% off a membership another way to support the channel is to buy a racket string or shoe from tennis warehouse tennis warehouse europe or tennis only i get a small commission at no extra cost to you so big thanks that is all for now have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis